Hello everyone, back again on the Soya channel. How is your progress playing Coral Island? Have you got your 1 million coins? Not yet? Okay, I will give you the best tips for getting your first 1 million in this video. You will be very rich when you follow these tips carefully. Without further ado, let's start from the first tip. Breeding. Breeding that players can do on Coral Island is breeding fish in the fish pond and breeding insects in the insect house. A fish pond blueprint can be bought from the carpenter. Players need 20 scrap, 50 stone, 20 seaweed, 1 gold kelp essence to make it. Once purchased, the blueprint can be selected from the player's inventory and placed on the farm in an empty 5x5 space. A fish pond takes two days to build. Once completed, a fish pond can be stocked with fish for breeding. There are no upgrades for the fish pond. Players can also get a fish pond after completing the Sunny's Letter quest and completing the rare fish offering at the Catch Altar. Once a fish pond has been constructed, the player can place a fish they've caught or found inside of it to breed more fish. Multiple fish of the same type and quality can be placed within the fish pond. The bread fish will be of the same type and quality level as the one placed in the pond. Up to a total of 10 fish, including the original, can be contained in a single pond, at which point breeding will stop until fish are removed. Non-legendary fish will spawn every two days, but legendary fish take twice as long, spawning only every four days. Fish won't breed if there are different species inside the fish pond. Apart from fish, players can also breed insects with the insect house. A insect house blueprint can be bought from the carpenter from rank F4. Players need 20 compost, 15 hardwood, 10 sap and 1 gold bar to make it. An insect house takes 2 days to build. Once completed, an insect house can be stocked with insects for breeding. Players can also get an insect house after completing the Eleanor's letter quest. The breeding mechanics of an insect house are similar to the breeding mechanics of a fish pond. Kegs Keg is a type of artisan equipment that can be used to juice fruits and vegetables and make green tea, coffee, and some alcohols. Keg can be crafted after the player reaches level 6 in their farming mastery. Players need 30 wood, 2 bronze bars, 1 silver bar and 20 scrap to make it. Players can also get keg after completing the basic artisan offering at the advanced altar. A keg can process most harvestable grains, fruits and vegetables. Keg can't process any scavengeables. The following items cannot be placed into a keg. This is the crop that players can process with keg. The highest price of all keg products is the large Gesha coffee bean at 1430 coins. Players can find large Gesha coffee beans when raising Luwik in the coop. Players can buy Luwik when the town rank reaches rank B. Mason Jars Mason Jar is a type of artisan equipment that produces a variety of artisan products, including jams, pickles, tempeh, salted eggs and butter. Mason Jar can be crafted after the player reaches level 3 in their farming mastery. Players need 30 wood and 12 glass to make it. Mason jar can process all egg and milk and most fruit and vegetables. Mason jar can't process any coconut. These are the items that players can process with a mason jar. The average mason jar takes 5 to 6 hours to process. The highest price of all mason jar products is the large salted quail egg at 595 coins. Players can find large quail eggs when raising quail in the coop. Players can buy quail when the town rank reaches rank B. Town Rank Town Rank is a feature in Coral Island introduced early on in the game. Town Rank System, starting with F, is introduced by Connor, through Town Rank F cutscene. The Town Rank affects store inventories, crops and seeds available to the player, farm animals the player can purchase and raise, among other things. The more crops you can plant and animals you can raise, the more the player's income will increase. 
The player can raise town's rank by donating to the museum, completing temple offerings, and cleaning ocean while diving. First, let's discuss donating to the museum. The player can donate artifacts, gems, critters, insects, fish and more here. Donations are put on display here. The museum opens on the third day of spring of the first year, entering for the first time will trigger the quest. Each donation will contribute three museum points. On top of that, each completion of the whole set of artifacts, fossils, gems, insects, fish, and ocean critter will contribute 40 museum points. As the player donates groupings of items to the museum, they can unlock various rewards for completing collections. Second, let's discuss the completing temple offerings or what is usually called Lake Temple. The Lake Temple is a mysterious temple that has been on the island for a while. The player can find it at the lake in the northeastern part of the island. There are four altars that require six offerings each. Each offering requires four to six different items. After completing the mythical dream quest, the player can make offerings at the crop altar. Any offerings made will contribute 45 heritage points. What players should highlight about crop altar is, the crops you have to plant and the scavengeable items you have to find in the same month. What players should highlight about catch altar is, focus more attention on fish, insects or critters that only appear in one month. If the player passes it, then the player has to wait for next year. What players should highlight about Advanced Altar is, about ranching and fruit products that you have to upgrade first in the laboratory to get the right quality. What players should highlight about Rare Altar is, players must upgrade seeds in the laboratory with at least silver quality to get osmium quality. Save cooking ingredients to complete the Rare Cooking Altar. Third, let's discuss cleaning the ocean while diving. Diving is the player's ability to go underwater to clean up the trash and gain valuables from the sea. When diving, the player can find kelp, chests, pearls and other underwater scavenge items. Diving is unlocked on the eighth day of spring when the player receives a letter instructing to meet at the dock. The diving mastery pertains to all things having to do with navigating, cleaning trash, and harvesting resources on the seafloor. When underwater, the player will need to clear trash and debris on the ocean floor with their scythe to obtain resources and collect solar orbs. They can also catch underwater critters with their critter net, cut seaweed, or collect items that spawn on the ground. When the player unearths a solar orb, they will need to activate it by picking it up and when clearing the way towards a pylon to heal nearby corals. Healing corals earns the player town rank points, improves the quality of fish caught, and progresses one of the main quests of the game. The player can leave the underwater area by interacting with the anchor. The anchor can be moved by pressing X and waiting until it drops. Aaron. Errands are randomized, time-limited quests that the player can take on from the job boards in Starlet Town. Once accepted, most errands must be completed in two days, the day the quest is accepted and the next. With the exception of Grow Me errands which give the player the length of time needed to grow the item plus one day to harvest and deliver it. Completing an errand rewards the player with an amount of money dependent on the type of errand and any items delivered. There are two types of errands to choose from. First there are town courier errands, which town courier errands encompass any request by an available townie for a specified item. This item can be, a seasonal fruit, vegetable, or flower available at the player's town rank, and an animal product if the player has the required building and town rank needed to purchase the animal. Completion of town courier errands rewards the player with three times the requested item's base sell price as well as 250 heart friendship points with the townie that requested it. Secondly there is Grow Me Something Errands, which Grow Me Something Errands encompass all requests to grow a new specified product for delivery to an available townie. This item can be any seasonal fruit, vegetable, or flower available at the player's town rank. 
Completion of Grow Me Something Errands rewards the player with two times the requested item's base sell price as well as 250 heart heart friendship points with the townie that requested it. Grow Me Something Errands have a longer time limit than other errands, allowing for the length of time for the product to grow plus one day for harvest and delivery. Ranch Animal Ranching is a one of the masteries that involves petting farm animals and collecting their products. The player can raise animals after building a coop or a barn. The animals can be purchased at the local ranch. You can only buy cows and chickens at the start of the game. When a player's town rank reaches rank E, you can buy ducks and sheep. When a player's town rank reaches rank D, you can buy quail and goat. When a player's town rank reaches rank C, you can buy peafowl and pig. When a player's town rank reaches rank B, you can buy llamas and luwaks. Ranching is about getting the benefits of all three main tools. Mayonnaise machine, cheese press and loom. Mayonnaise machine is a type of artisan equipment in the game. It can produce mayonnaise from eggs laid by different co-op animals. The player can receive one mayonnaise machine from Jeff Smith in mail upon completing the farming challenge part 3. Mayonnaise machine can be crafted after the player reaches level 2 in their ranching mastery. Large quail mayonnaise is the most expensive product from the mayonnaise machine. Cheese press is a type of artisan equipment that produces cheese and goat cheese, as well as syrup and tofu. The cheese press can be crafted after the player reached level 4 in their ranching mastery. The cheese press produces cheese from cow and goat's milk. The product depends on the size and quality of the milk used. Goat cheese wheel is the most expensive product from the cheese press. Loom is a type of artisan equipment that can produce cloth and yarn from different barn animal products. Loom can be crafted after the player reaches level 6 in their ranching mastery. Large llama yarn is the most expensive product from Loom. Maybe this is all we can discuss? What do you think? Write your comments in the comments column. Thank you and goodbye.